Hey guys, Steve here. Today we're going to talk about nitrogen in your system. So nitrogen is produced by fish food and fish respiration. Both the fish respiration as well as the waste coming out of the fish produce ammonium or uh, ammonia depending on which end of the fish it comes out of. That is then converted by microbes to nitrite, which is more lethal than ammonia, which is then converted again to nitrate. This process of getting those microbes colonized into your system is called cycling. If your system is not cycled, you cannot properly process the nitrogen inside your system. If you can't do that, your fish are going to die. So, uh, it is important to make sure that you keep maintain your nitrates, which is the final form, which is easy to test for, uh, between a range of 20 and 80, depending on what type of crop you're growing. If you're growing more flowering crops, you're going to keep it in that 20 to 40 range. If you're growing more leafy greens, say you have a whole farm here of, of leafy green vegetables, you're going to want to keep it uh, in that 40 to 80 range, and the plants will do much, much better. As you can see here, these dandelion greens are just loving it. These guys here in the back are crushing it as well. And everything is just bright green, growing like gangbusters. So, and those are your ranges that you want for nitrogen. Now, for ammonia, you want it between zero and point and zero point two five. And for nitrite, you want to always try to keep that at zero. And we'll go into individual videos on each of those nutrients as well. A real quick video on each of those, just to give you guys a better idea on what to do if there is a problem with those. Thanks a lot for watching.